You know, I skipped a grade. I uh, skipped second grade and there was talk of me skipping more. And um, honestly, it didn't it didn't actually affect my life that much because I was a really big kid. So like I wasn't picked on because I was bigger than the kids a grade above me. So it didn't affect my social life that much. If I had been one of those kids who like was a late bloomer, like puberty wise, I probably would have been like tiny in high school and that would have sucked. So did you graduate a year early? Yeah, I graduated a year early. I graduated when I was uh, mid-17 instead of mid-18. Because my birthday is toward the, the end of the school year, so I would have been 18 if I had, uh, if I had not skipped a grade. But yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was fine, you know? The, the real weird thing, though, is like, holy shit, I, um, peop the kids were so weird after I skipped a grade, you know? Like, you guys are giving me shit, but imagine, like, 10-year-olds giving you shit for that, you know? Like, you skip a grade, so you're in, like, the third grade instead of the second, and the kids are like, oh, look at you, and I'm like... What do you want? <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, the phrase built different wasn't really, like, a thing back then, so I couldn't style on them as hard as I would now, but... 10 years old in the third grade? I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't fucking remember what age I was what grade. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't explain to them that my name was Bill Dipperly. What do you think of homeschooling for religious reasons? You know I'm gonna say that's cringe. When kids skip grade, other my school were like, oh cool, it didn't seem like a big deal. Yeah, well, like, you don't want to make it a big deal, because that can alienate kids. Also, Pigeon is hardcore streaming out in the hallway. Screaming, if you want to, like, I did so well in kindergarten that my parents made me skip the first grade. I ended up being a socially challenged, hyperactive child that couldn't pay attention to the lessons. You know, it really makes me wonder what I could have been, what I could have achieved if uh, I had had Adderall or Ritalin or whatever back when I was, uh, back when I was a little tyke, you know? Because I never did homework. I mean, I did not do well in school. I never, ever, ever did well in school because I never did the homework. I actually remember the thing that got me to skip second grade. It, I, I feel like if I talk about this, are you guys going to accuse me of like being super self-aggrandizing or can I say it without you making fun of me? I remember there was a specific thing because I didn't, I didn't do, yeah, 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 you can give me shit. I didn't do that much homework, so my grades weren't super good. But I remember we were doing, we were doing a lesson in the class that was about the way negatives and positives interacted when you multiply them. You know how when you multiply a negative by a positive, you get a negative. Um, a negative by a negative, you get a positive, and a positive by a positive, you get a positive. Right? Well, I remember I did like a probability chart for the likelihood of a number after an equation being positive or negative based on the variable's input. That makes it sound like more than it was. It was basically like I just did what I just said right there, except I put it in a chart form or something. Anyway, apparently that thing was the thing that went from my professor to the principal to the... I actually don't know how they authorize the decision for kids to get like skip a grade. Do you need to like go to the school district or do you just keep it within the school? I, I, I don't know, but yeah. Wasn't exactly child prodigy stuff. By the way, pretty sure I was wrong in that paper. <laughs> I think I might have gotten something wrong in there. It, again, this was like 20 years ago, so I don't fucking know, but yeah. That's what it took to skip a grade? Well, I, it was probably that was like the prompting element, but there was other stuff, you know? Like, um, I kept doing this in classes, and they were like, what is that strange move? Maybe we're not ready for it. Is it from the future? You know? What do you think of gifted kids? I was actually part of it. Gate. Uh, gifted and talented education which was like the middle school smart lads little bitch club, you know? Ours was called GT. Yeah, I'm sure there was like a million versions of that. I went to a, I went to a, a retreat one time that was a lot of fun because I was associated with that gifted kids thing. And it was a lot of fun going there, uh, even though it was kind of pricey. So like I felt bad because I knew my parents were like, okay, you know. But, um, oh, dude, I did a 9-11 there. Oh, shit. Wait meme not true uh had 9-11 even happened yet no 9-11 had happened at that point the day we had like activities split up into like different hour or two hour blocks and in one of them we were encouraged to make structures out of like it was this weird kind of foldy cardboard paper it wasn't like regular car it was like segmented or perforated cardboard that was really easy to articulate and bend into like square rectangular like triangle shapes depending on how it was like perforated and we were encouraged to make structures 
And uh, I think I paper airplane somebody else's tower at some point. <laughs> this this must have been just a few this must have been just a few years after 911 too. I think I got in trouble for that. Um <laughs> why? Well, cuz they were dicks. What the fuck do you want? We were all like 11 or something. They were assholes. What do you This <laughs> <laughs> oh god were you edgy then um I, yeah i think i was and as edgy as you can be at 11 what's edgy at 11 saying swear words i don't know anyway that was funny oh i actually got i nearly got my camp counselor in trouble once because i actually got lost during a hike i felt so bad once i was old enough to realize what i had done i felt like super dumb dumb after that the retreat was off in, like, Yosemite or some shit. I mean, it was off in, like, the boonies, you know, like, off in the woods. And um, at one point, we were doing a hike. And it's just a hiking trail, just a regular old hiking trail. But it was, like, a really nice one, you know? And I was at the front of the group, and I was taller than everyone else, including the counselor. So I was walking faster than everyone else. And I was just, at first, I was just, like, five feet ahead of everyone else, you know? And there were, like, cool places. There was, like, tree branches to push aside to go under and, like, you know... Uh, like, oh, here's a little cavern kind of walk through. It was like a really cool little route. But I'd never gone hiking before. So in my mind, um, a hiking trail was just like a regular track and field lap, but like squigglier. So I thought that even if I walked like fast ahead, I would just like circle around. Like there wasn't, you can't get lost hiking. It was, it was just a track, and even if it's an odd track, it just leads around. So anyway, I went ahead, and apparently to the rest of them, I disappeared around a corner, and I went on for a while until the sun was setting. And I was having a bomb, by the way. I was having a blast. Anyway, eventually I realized I hadn't heard from anyone else in a long, long, long time, and I realized that I had also made several fork-in-the-road turns up until that point, so I thought... I can't actually die out here, right? <laughs> Probably not. Maybe not. But just in case, we're going to go backwards. So I went backwards, and it was easy to retrace my steps because everything went clockwise around the mountain. So if you went backwards, there was no way to make a mistake of which direction to go from that point. I walked backwards for about 20 minutes and eventually ran into somebody. And it was one of the camp counselors, not the one who was leading my group, another one, a woman, who was just panting like sweating you know and she was like oh my god thank god and she found me and apparently after the rest of the group had concluded their little tour and realized that i wasn't anywhere near them they'd sent her after me i felt really bad at because I, at the, as a kid i just thought oh what a wacky series of events have taken place but then when i got older i realized wait I, that was like must have been really really a scary to them yeah oh yeah dylan dylan burns for sure children are monsters but Vosh, did you touch grass? Oh, I touched tons of grass. How old were you? I must have been uh, 12? Because I was 13 when I started high school, but this was a middle school program. So probably 12, I'd say. You smoke weed when you were 15? No, I did not. I never smoked weed in high school. I wasn't one of the cool uh, drug-using kids. I'm very sorry. I know this must be very disillusioning to the rest of you, but yeah. 12 and you were taller than a counselor? Yeah, I was uh, just about 6 feet. I think, I think I was about that tall. Maybe at 13? I was a tall kid, yeah. I hit puberty super early. Did you ever call the police as a child accidentally? Oh my god, did I? Yes, I did. One time when I was super young, I called the police one time because my mom had left for her work before I got to say goodbye to her. I just panicked. I woke up late and I didn't get to say bye to my mom. So I called the police. And then the operator picked up and I, I paused for a second. I was like, sorry. And I hung up. And I'm glad they didn't send cops over because they can trace the line because it was a, it was a landline back then, you know. Uh, <laughs> oh God! And then of course, you know, only later did it occur to me that you could, I could just call my mom. Though there weren't cell phones back then, so I would have had to call her work number and then ask to be directed to my mom. Uh, but you know, yeah, yeah. Officer, tell my mom I love her and to have a good day at work. Did you make any prank phone calls? I think I made one prank phone call once. And it was to, like, a friend in high school. But they didn't know it was me. It wasn't a real... No. I didn't, it didn't make a habit of it, you know? Also, you can get in trouble for that shit. You know, depending on the circumstances. Did I ever ding-dong dash? A couple times. 
Uh, but again, not a not a real habit uh, that I made. Not not a, not a real not a real habit I made of my life. You know, ding dong dash, egging. No, no. Uh, sorry, no egging. No toilet paper rolls. Sorry, I wasn't that rambunctious of a kid. You know, and I wasn't that popular back in middle or high school either. I was an awkward, autistic little kid. Well, I wasn't little, but I was. Well, I'm a kid, so I'm little. But I wasn't little for a kid. I did not have a huge swath of friends. Do you have any examples of your schools being fucking horrible? Um, apart from the misappropriation of funds, I mean, Beverly High had plenty of money and it never went towards the teachers and always went towards the new fancy fucking shit they knew would get them like a LA Times paper front page. Oh, I talked about the... <laughs> Fuck, what did I call it? The retard pit? No, we can... what? The dungeon? What was that? You guys remember, don't you? Oh, you guys remember. No, not the cabinet. No, 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 not the cabinet. The the dungeon. The cellar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god. I don't I don't think this was my school being bad necessarily, but my middle my my elementary school and middle school were the same school. It was the same school. There was the same thing. They were like joint facilities. Anyway, um it was a pretty cool. The I think it was Horseman, Horseman Middle School. Horace Man, H O R A C E M A N N. Yeah, Horse Man. Which, oh God, now that I'm. Well, that was fucking prophetic, wasn't it? Anyway, you know, there was. They tore it down, which kind of sucks because, um, oh, there are like tons of Horse Man schools. Oh my God. Beverly Hills. They tore it down, but there was actually a really cool building at the center of the facility. Yeah, here's the, here's the entrance. This is a joint middle school slash elementary school. Though they never had the fountain working back when I was a kid because the weather was never right for it or whatever. But it was pretty cool. I mean, when they actually had, when they actually bothered to keep this place running up in full, they had this really cool, um, like, entrance, you know? What the fuck, it looks so rich? Look. Yes. Anyway, they've re-upped this place several times, so, like... Yeah, what is this? Like, I don't, I don't even know what this building is. This is apparently a building they have now. I have no fucking idea what this building is. Oh my god. You know, looking at all these video, looking at all these photos, like, I'm not trying to be offensive. Does this not look very Jewish? Like, does it not look really clear that this is a majority Jewish neighborhood? I don't know. This all looks very synagogue-y to me. Yeah, it's, it's, well, they're not six-pointed stars, but like, I don't know, dude. It's just definitely, like, vibes. The way these little, like, arch, arches come to a point. I don't know. Persian Jews. It's just the vibe I get. Because they're all Persian Jews. They're all Iranians who came over here with the Ayatollah shit, you know? Um, I'm trying to find the old building. Do they not have it on Google anymore? Wait, is my, like, is my childhood dead? Few moments later. Here, okay, I'm just gonna show this or I'll get stunlocked forever, okay? This was it. Enjoy the image. Basically, it was like the center of the school was like this massive four-story tower that went, had these, like, railings out all around it. You know what I mean? Here's a better photo that shows less. See that? The, th that right there? Yeah. And all of the classrooms were, like, pizza slices from it. Yeah, it was very panopticon. Anyway, it was very, 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 like, weird. It was a very weird building. Um, yeah, look at how old this photo is. This photo was taken in a 4 by 3 ratio. Anyway, the point that I'm trying to get at is I went to this elementary slash middle school and had a good time, whatever, but they did have classes for like differently abled people, you know, like special needs kids and sometimes even adults, but they had it in a special classroom and that classroom was like l the most like, l like walled off, like horrible, evil, like staircase, you know, it was right next to where everyone else would eat. And there was like a staircase that would descend down into the dark, you know? Everything just coated in bird shit that hadn't been cleaned in like a decade. And you could go down there and there was, it was like the forbidden like dungeon entrance, you know, down into the abyss. Anyway, that was where the, that was where they went, I guess.